Good evening guys, welcome back to the 254 node where we speak on matters on cryptocurrencies and investment with a difference. I hope you're back to your houses and your homes and you're safe and sound and are ready for yet another video. So today we're going to look at how you can invest like the rich. We're going to simply take a look at the most important cryptocurrency investments that you can make today as a newbie or even as a veteran when it comes to cryptocurrencies but before we get into that we're just going to take a quick look at the market whereby we can see that the market isn't doing pretty good and uh, we can see a, a sea of red whereby most of the cri cryptocurrencies are not doing good surprisingly one of them being litecoin which uh, just a few days back uh, successfully went through with its halving uh, event and before this we had expected that there would have been a significant rise in the price action but unfortunately the opposite has held true i do not know why this is so but it could be because of all the negative news which we have had received previously regarding uh, Litecoin uh, development, you know, and commitments uh, from Charlie Lee. It could be something else. I do not know, but uh, yeah, Litecoin is not doing fairly well, as you can see. It has dropped from its uh, highs of a hundred dollars, and it's now trading at seventy-four dollars. This is not entirely a bad thing, as it opens up the opportunities for those who are looking to scoop up some cryptocurrencies at low levels in this case if you are looking to pick up some litecoin at the lowest price possible this year then this is a golden opportunity 2017 was an interesting year which gave us plenty of icos and excitement and uh, the fever pitch reached uh, towards the last market uh, bull run whereby bitcoin managed to hit its highs of twenty thousand dollars whereby we saw icos being a uh, brought up each and every single day unfortunately this all came to an end when the price of btc dropped from its twenty thousand all the way to a mega three thousand and as a result over one thousand ico projects to date are presumably dead with most of them having succumbed to the market forces and they did not manage to survive and have ultimately closed shop and as per this article some of the projects currently which are considered to be dead or are dying are none other than NEM, BitConnect, Bitcoin Diamond, Universa and so forth. As you guys can remember, BitConnect had attained a huge market cap over 2.6 billion at the peak of uh, Bitcoin dominance and uh, unfortunately so many people placed their money into the project with hopes of ripping big. And uh, some of them managed to actually do that, but most of the investors lost money. And this is why we are going to take a look at the reason why it is important to focus on which projects that you are going to invest in. And part of this, guys, uh, falls into play, as you can see here on the September 23rd. Uh, Bact has officially been given the green lights. Uh, by the New York State Department of Finance Services to create a trust company which will make it easier to open the doors to institutional investors with big money and uh, we are talking about billions of dollars which should be coming into the market as of the 23rd of September as you can see as per the article Bact has been given the green lights to finally open uh, its futures contracts where institutions such as uh, hedge funds and uh, pension plans will be able now to put a percentage of their holdings into cryptocurrencies which is a huge thing so at the end of the day it is imperative that as an investor you take note of what is happening around you so that you'll be able to position yourself uh, to take advantage of the market movements which we are expecting to come in the several months and years to come as BACT will be able to solve the problems which have hindered institutional investments into cryptocurrencies. So one of the reasons why we are seeing so much interest in cryptocurrencies is because there have been 
uh, several developments in terms of uh, custody uh, whereby we're seeing uh, several companies in this case uh, like uh, the blue chip company coinbase based in america which is solving the issue of custodianship as well as uh, liquidity and thereby opening up uh, the space to huge money to flow into crypto and as we have seen before uh, one of the biggest uh, companies looking into venturing into blockchain technology include none other than facebook uh, with their libra coin as well as uh, jp morgan which has been in the past a biggest critic of blockchain technology is now looking into setting up its own blockchain project dubbed uh, jp morgan which will be used for international settlements between uh, banks as well as other financial institutions one of the reasons why we are seeing big money flowing into this is because of uh, the problems which are solved by institutions such as coinbase when it comes to liquidity as well as regulation grayscale is another large financial advisor entity if i recall it that which uh, most of these institutions with the huge money look into their reports to be able to make uh, advised decisions on which projects to invest in as we can see here they have over 2.5 billion dollars of uh, investment which uh, they have been able to spread across various markets and we shall be able to take a look at this report published on august uh, to be able to see which are some of the projects that they're investing in right off the bat we can see that they do offer the btc trust the bch trust ethereum trust as well as the ECETH trust as well as the horizon trust uh, i do believe they also added recently the xrp the zcash as well as the stellar human trust notably we can see that a huge chunk of the 2.5 billion dollars is allocated into both the btc as well as the eth uh, trusts and this should ring a bell in your head as to which cryptocurrency projects that the institutional investor thinks that stands the chance of succeeding let's say two years three years or even ten years from now another important uh, important report rather is that which comes off from the morgan creek uh, projects whereby they do also offer advice on to which uh, investment uh, projects that institutions will be able to put their money into to in order to reap uh, significant gains and later on you'll be able to see similarly the pattern is the same with majority of the funds being allocated into btc as well as ethereum so at the end of the guys it is very important to take note of what the what the wealthy people the rich people are doing and to be able to copy it and do the same because at the end of the day they know the innings of where the money is to be made guys so i do recommend that you do take a look at these sites both the grayscale as well as as the morgan creek and from there you'll be able to make an informed decision so guys that's it for the video today i do hope that you found value in this video if so then consider sharing the video with your friends and your family and spread out the word when it comes to cryptocurrencies if you want to support the channel then please consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel as i upload videos on a regular basis and let me know about what you think uh, if backed will be able to impact positively on the markets or not thank you so so very much guys for your time i appreciate each and every single one of you i hope you have a lovely day night or evening and catch you on the next video Thank you.